I installed Android 13 on my Pixel 6 and guess what? It's better than Android 12's stable version. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm your host Arnav and you are watching Tech Arena. So Android 13's Beta 4.1 is the latest Android 13 Beta build for the Pixel devices. I've installed it on my Pixel 6 and I've been using it as my daily driver and this is something that I won't recommend you guys to do because again there are some things that may go wrong when it comes to app support and all those stuff. So if you want to install the Android 13 beta build you can do that there's a link in the description below but on your own risk. After installing Android 13 on my phone, I've been really liking many features that Android 13 actually offers. I do agree that this is not the final build, it has a lot of bugs and issues to be fixed. But guess what, it is actually better than what Android 12 is right now. So let's start with talking about things that I really like about Android 13. So the first thing is smoother experience. Android 13 in general is much more smoother and flawless when you compare with Android 12. Now Android 12 had a lot of bugs and glitches which caused the Android 12's UI to be very sluggish which deteriorated or which made me hate the user experience of Android 12. But when it came to Android 13, the experience is much more smoother and flawless. The animations, the way it responds to whatever we touch is actually great on Android 13. So yes, in terms of the experience, it is very smooth and flawless. And again, this is just the final beta build of Android 13. It's not even the stable, but I'm going as far as comparing this with the stable version of Android 12. So you can understand how well the Android 13 has been polished till now. So yes, there are bugs and glitches on Android 13. I'm not saying that it's a software with zero bugs. It is way more better than the stable build of Android 13, which has a way more bugs. The second one is the media player on Android 13. Now, when I saw it in videos online, I actually didn't like it. But when I saw it in action on my phone after installing the Android 13 beta, I really loved it. The way the trackline animation is made on Android 13 is so good when it's in action. And not only that, the way the widget has the color of the song's album art makes it look really sick, especially on the lock screen of Android 13. I do agree that the lock screen of iOS 16 is way more better, but hey, this is something that you need to look for that makes your phone very pretty to look. Now, when I talk about the media player, I don't know how it will turn out on smartphones manufactured by companies like Samsung, Oppo, or Vivo because they have their own custom Android skins. But when it comes to smartphones that have near stock experience like phones from Google or phones from nothing. This media player is something which you guys should really wait for because it looks really sick. It makes your phone look really great. Now the third thing which I like about Android 13 is it improves the fingerprint recognition. Now this is not an Android 13 exclusive or a feature but the reason why I am talking about this is because the way the fingerprint scanner on the Pixel 6 lineup devices whether it's 6, 6 Pro or the 6A it's been really messed up by Google. I expected that the Pixel 6a will come with a better fingerprint scanner just because they have changed the fingerprint scanner on the 6a but it turned out to be worse than the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. When I compared the fingerprint recognition of my phone in Android 13 and Android 12, I felt that Android 13 has improved a lot in terms of the fingerprint recognition. It's much more faster and much more cleaner. The animation also looks sick when you unlock the phone with your fingerprint. So these are some things that I liked about the Pixel 6 Android 13 experience. Yes, I do agree that there are still bugs and glitches to be fixed on Android 13. But guess what? It is way more better and polished than Android 12 stable build. And also I do want to point out that all the banking apps like Paytm, PhonePay, Google Pay, BIM, all work perfectly fine on my phone. That doesn't mean that you have to try it out because you may have a different banking app. But as far as all the UPA apps concerned, everything works flawlessly on the Android 13 Beta 4.1. So keep that on your mind. So if you're installing the Android 13 build for your Pixel 6 device, you can try it out, but on your own risk. And the problem, the major problem that I faced with Android 13 build for the Pixel 6 is the battery drain. Yes, the battery drain is worse. Now you might ask me, Arna, why didn't you roll back to your Android 12 stable build because it will improve your battery? The reason why I didn't do that is because I'm not traveling anywhere on day-to-day -day basis so you know if I'm traveling I do need battery life because battery life is something really important when you travel but I'm at my home so I can charge my device whenever I want so I didn't want to roll back and not only that the experience that Android 13 is giving me right now is something which I'm really liking so that's why I didn't roll back to Android 12. Yes the battery drain is there in fact I checked the battery usage statistics and the battery drain was caused because of the mobile network standby. Usually in any smartphone it will be just less than 5% but I noticed in the Pixel 6 device which I have in my hand it's 40% yes it's consuming 40% of my battery which is something that you never ever expect out of a smartphone and if you ask me whether it is improving my network reception even after consuming 40% of my battery no 
it doesn't improve my network so if you don't know my phone has a manufacturing defect of losing signals here and there and it doesn't improve it in any way so that is the major problem that i'm facing battery drain is something which google has to address on the stable build when it comes out apart from that the experience the overall experience that android 13 has offered me on my phone is really great i would encourage you guys to try out but again with your own risk so yes these are my opinions about android 13 beta 4.1 on my pixel 6 device and what do you guys think about this let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and as always if you end up enjoying watching my content i like this video would be great share this video with all of your friends and subscribe to tech arena for more such entertaining tech videos so for now this is me anup signing off talk to you guys in the next one bye bye